It's been quite a while since I've shared my story, so it's um, feeling very nurturing to do this with each of you. I'm going to share some of my story about health and healing throughout the last 13 years and to share some parts of my cancer journey in March of 1998 was when I was diagnosed with a brain tumor at age 24. My symptoms began when I was staring at the ceiling one morning and I was spinning. I went to work that day and I stumbled into a friend's office. From there, I went to a general practitioner and then an ear specialist who ordered an MRI scan. And that's when I was told that I had a brain tumor. I knew nothing about cancer, not too much about health, but I did know that I should seek out multiple opinions. So I consulted with several medical institutions and I chose to have brain surgery at the National Institutes of Health. Uh, I'll tell you guys a little bit about my cancer experience uh, twice in my 20s and now at 35, you know, what we're doing uh, uh, to, to cr make it better, make the cancer world a better place and really tap into the mind and compassion um, and connecting. I'm a big, big believer in connecting with other people like you uh, is a great way to help deal um, with our cancer and find uh, a way to find peace. Uh, again, my name is Johnny Immerman. I was uh, 26 years old when I got diagnosed with testicular cancer. Um, you know, I was, like many of us, you know, young, you feel good. You, you didn't, it was the last thing you were thinking about on your mind uh, when you got diagnosed. And uh, mine started in my left testicle and spread up into my pelvis and stomach. So I had surgery uh, right away to remove the left testicle. That was the first step. And then you go right into banking sperm. And I'm very open about everything, first of all. So please, when I think we all are. I'll speak for all the panelists. When you guys have questions afterwards, please ask them. You know. From my early 40s, I struggled for 10 years with symptoms of breast cancer, lumps, discharges, and pain. Every mammogram, extra view, needle, and surgical biopsy was negative. I deferred to experts when told the lump that bothered me, which did turn out to be cancerous, did not bother the chief surgeon of a prestigious hospital. After my first digital mammogram, literally 10 years later, a surgical biopsy revealed ER positive breast cancer. I had the first of two mastectomies. Six weeks after the first, my right arm flared with lymphedema. I was 52. After my second mastectomy, a triple negative cancer was diagnosed. A PET CT showed lung lesions previously considered to be scar tissue had become active, larger, and more numerous. I will be 60 this summer and have lived seven years with stage four breast cancer. And for me, the most important question that was asked to me, and I ask it every day to myself and uh, did through the initial stages as well as with all the cancer patients that I work with is, do you really want to live? And of course I said yes and so do all my clients I work with and they said, well how much are you willing to do? And I said everything. And then this wise person says, are you sure? And that's what a lot of this about. So I'm going to tell you my story kind of quickly. Uh, 1998, out of the blue, which is what happens often with cancer, I was diagnosed with stage four pancreatic cancer. And um, I was told by, doc by the first doctor that absolutely nothing could be done. That I had four to six months, if I was really one of the lucky ones, Maybe I had nine months to live. And it's interesting, that first doctor said to me, he said, I hope you're not gonna do any of those alternative things. And my husband and I, I mean, we were in another world, and we said, of course not, 